Hello everyone, welcome to English Keys Academy. Today we are going to discuss a very beautiful poem written by W. H. Auden and the title of the poem is Night Mail. So let's start it. This is the night mail crossing the border, bringing the check and the postal order. Letters for the rich, letters for the poor, the shop at the corner, the girl next door. Pulling up B-talk, a steady climb. The gradients against her, but she's on time. Past cotton grass and moorland boulder, shoveling white steam over her shoulder. Snorting noisily, she passes silent miles of wind-bent grasses. Birds turn their heads as she approaches, stare from bushes at her blank-faced coaches. Sheepdogs cannot turn her course. They slumber on their paws across. In the farm she passes, no one wakes, but a jug in a bedroom gently shakes. So before uh, moving towards the analysis of the poem, uh, let's have an introduction of the poet. W. H. Auden was born in 1907. He was educated at Oxford and uh, taught in England and Scotland for some times. He wrote poetry and won fame in the political and social circles. Among his uh, famous volumes of verse are uh, Look Stranger that was published in 1936, Another Time that was published in 1940, The Age of Anxiety that was published in 1948. So these three are the names of his books. Auden showed a deep interest in language and metaphor, satire and parody. Uh, which are often dazzling and sometimes cruel. So these are the genres, these are the types of literature that he produced. Uh, he is very lively and uh, provocative uh, kind of poet and he is skilled and very ingenious. So if we talk about the themes of the poem, so the poet describes the journey of a coach uh, that travels all night bringing mail uh, which contains letters, postal orders, checks uh, for people who live in various, uh, various parts of the land. So sometimes the journey is a steep upward climb, sometimes it turns steadily on the plains. Uh, you know, whether the railway track is an upward ascent or it is a sloping descent, the, net, the night mail is always on time and uh, follows the time schedule. So the grassland, cotton fields, moorlands and the white clouds above all pass by uh, quickly and swiftly and the birds stare at the approaching coach from their nests but the sheep dogs unmindful of the, the, the of the noise of the male coach continue to slumber slumber means to sleep uh, no one wakes up uh, from the slumber only a jug uh, gently shakes as the coach passes by the farm so this is the this is the crux of the poem so let's uh, explore the poem stanza by stanza uh, the first stanza uh, this is the, the the first two lines it's it's not uh, basically a stanza uh, this is the night male crossing the border the poet says that this is the night male uh, who is crossing the border bringing the checks and the postal order and uh, what is uh, that uh, night mail or the train bringing that the train is basically bringing uh, the checks and the postal orders now what are the or, what, what are the postal orders or the letters for uh, the letters are uh, in, in the in the next two lines the poet says that letters for the rich letters for the poor uh, the shop at the co uh, the corner the girl next door Take a poor door. So this, this again, there is a rhyming scheme in the in the in the line three and four as well. So the poet says that uh, the letters are for every kind of people. They are for the rich people. They are for the poor people. They are for the shopkeepers. They are for the girls as well. Okay. Uh, pulling up Betok. Now Betok is a is a is a is a mountain in Scotland, uh, and maybe the poet is talking about a train that is moving uh, through Scotland. The poet says that pulling up Betok, like the train is ascending. Uh, you know, the, 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 the train is mounting uh, that uh, summit of uh, Betok, a steady climb. Uh, sometimes the, uh, you know, the, the train is moving upwards, okay, uh, when the paths are hilly, okay, the train has to move upwards and sometimes there are uh, steady, uh, you know, uh, climbs, okay, sometimes uh, uh, the, the path is uh, very plain and sometimes the train has to move upwards and then uh, go downwards. The poet says that uh, pulling up be talk a steady climb the gradients against her but she is on time and sometimes uh, the train has to move uh, through uh, through the hilly areas gradient means uh, you know uh, a, a cliff or a, or, or a small mountain the gradients against her but she is on time in in these two lines the poet wants to say that whatever uh, the path is whatever uh, difficulties 
uh, the train has to uh, face but she is always on time so you know uh, apparently it looks like uh, like the poet is only talking about a train but if we uh, relate this poem with our real life so maybe the poet is telling us that uh, sometimes there are difficulties sometimes there are hardships but the people who are uh, who are conscious of the job that uh, that they are doing uh, then those people are always on time now again in the uh, next two lines the poet says that past cotton grass and moorland uh, boulder you know boulder is uh, a, a, a round shape stone okay so here uh, and moorland is a place uh, uncultivated place an uncultivated land jo banjar zameen hoti hai and the cotton grass you know that kapas ka jo pauda hota hai past cotton grass uh, like the train passes uh, by the cotton fields and the moorland boulder and the uncultivated the hilly uh, and uh, you know jo banjar zameen hoti hai jo pathreeli zameen hoti hai uh us say the train is passing shoveling white steam over her shoulder shoveling means uh, you know emitting kharij kar rahi hai shoveling white steam uh, over her shoulder aur jab wo wahan se guzar rahi hai to wo apne kandhon par upar se kya nikal rahi hai wo dhuan nikal rahi hai so if you look at the at the classic pictures of train like we are sitting in a different age and now the trains have improved a lot and uh, you know we travel in the advanced uh trains but you know uh, 100 years before the trains uh, they used to Uh, they they were fueled uh, by coal uh, and you know something like that to phir uska dhuan jo tha wo bahut zyada nikalta hota tha past cotton grass and moorland boulder shoveling white steam over her shoulder ki wo uh, kapas ke um, kheton se aur jo uh, pathreeli banjar zameene hai wahan se guzar rahi hai aur wo apne kandhon par kya kar rahi hai uh, wo apne kandhon ke upar sufed dhuan jo hai white steam sufed dhuan jo hai wo chhod rahi hai स्नॉटिंग नॉइजीली स्नॉट का मतलब होता है जब आप वो फुंकारते हैं आप नाक से आवाज निकालते हैं दिस इज स्नॉटिंग ओके सो द पॉइंट इज दैट द ट्रेन इज स्नॉटिंग नॉइजीली कि वो शोर मचा रही है और वो अपने मुंह से जो है अपने जैसे ट्रेन that type of voice is coming when the train is moving on na so you know that the poet here uh, uh, comes up with imagery as well and personification as well you know snorting because it's a human phenomenon na insaan snorting karta hai train to nahi karti but uh, uh, the poet is resembling uh, the voice of a uh, train Uh, with a human phenomena so uh, this is called personification okay jab aap ek uh, bejaan cheezon ko um, ke andar wo cheeze batate hain jo insano ki hoti hain to that is called personification snorting noisily she passes uh, like the train is snorting the train is uh, creating uh, a noise and the train is passing silent miles of uh, wind bent grasses uh, you know sometimes uh, you know uh, sometimes the train has to move uh, through as a, as the poet was telling in the upper two lines ke kapas ke kheton se guzar rahi hai sometimes wo pahadi ilakon mein se guzar rahi hai now in these two lines the poet says that snorting noisily she passes silent miles of wind bent grasses aur kabhi kabhi aisa hota hai ki wo kai milon tak train jo hai wo guzar rahi hoti hai aur aas paas kya hoti hai sirf ghas hoti hai okay acha next next two two lines uh, next uh, four lines are very beautiful the po- poet says that birds turn their heads as she approaches okay when the train comes uh, the birds they do not fly away okay they just turn their heads you know they, they it looks uh, like as if they know that it is the, it is the time of the arrival of the train so birds turn their heads as she approaches jaise hi train wahan par guzarti hai to parinde apne uh, sar aise piche hi laate hain stare from bushes at her blank faced coaches ke wo stare ka matlab hota hai ghoorna ऐसे करके देखना ऐसे द वे आई एम लुकिंग एट यू ओके स्टेयर फ्रॉम बुशेस झाड़ियों में से वो घूरते हैं ट्रेन को एट हर ब्लैंक फेस्ड कोचेस जो ट्रेन के जो खाली डब्बे होते हैं जिनका कोई रंग नहीं होता ब्लैंक फेस्ड विदाउट एनी कलर ओके सो दे स्टेयर दे लुक वेरी केयरफुली एट द ब्लैंक फेस्ड कोचेस बट शिप डॉग कैनॉट टर्न हर कोर्स कोर्स ट्रैक रस्ता शिप डॉग की जो घर का पालतू कुत्ता होता है द डॉग दैट इज कैप्ट टू लुक फॉर और टू टेक केयर ऑफ शीप यू नो दैट डॉग कैनॉट टर्न हर कोर्स वो उसका रास्ता नहीं बदल सकता ओके शिप डॉग कैनॉट टर्न हर कोर्स दे स्लम्बर ऑन देयर फाज अक्रॉस तो वो जो वो क्या करते हैं दे स्लम्बर दे स्लीप ऑन देयर फाज अक्रॉस तो वो अपने जो पंजे हैं उनको ऐसे करके फैला के वो सोए रहते हैं दे स्लम्बर ऑन विद द स्लम्बर ऑन द स्लम्बर ऑन वो अपना सोना जारी रखते हैं द स्लम्बर ऑन विद दॉज 
अक्रॉस अपने पंजे जो हैं उनको फैलाए हुए दे कीप स्लीपिंग इन द लास्ट टू लाइन्स द पोएट सेज दैट इन द फार्म शी पास लाइक द ट्रेन इज कमिंग ओके फ्राम फ्राम द कॉटन फील्ड्स फ्राम द मोर लैंड्स फ्राम द बी टॉक ओके एंड from from so many other places now the the train is near the farm okay where the people are there okay in the farm she passes no one awakes no one wakes okay when the train passes by the farm uh, when the train passes by the uh, uh, by the human population no one wakes why people are not awake because they know uh, as as the poet says uh, you know uh, upwards uh, that uh, pulling up betok a steady climb the gradients against her but she is on time that whatever the whatever the situation the train is always on time so when the train is on time so this means that people know that it is the it is the time of the arrival of the train so that's why they do not awake they they keep sleeping in the form she passes no one awakes but a jug in a bedroom gently shakes okay but uh, you know uh, it creates vibration and because of the vibration of the train sometimes the things uh, on the table the, the things on 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 the side table or you know uh, at at shelves to cheeze jo hai wo hilna shuru ho jati hain so basically in this poem uh, the the writer apparently uh, the poet apparently talks about the about the train about the function of the train and how train is linking people like uh, that the train is bringing checks the train is bringing letters and this is how the train is trying to connect people living at different places uh, and this uh, this poem this this poem also tells us about punctuality okay uh, punctuality connection and uh, i would say that uh, uh, you know something uh, here something very important that uh, the train is uh, passing through so many places but the train is not uh, creating any harm or any disturbance for the people so today we discuss this beautiful poem by w h auden in next lecture uh, we will explore some other piece of literature uh, if you haven't subscribed the channel please do subscribe the channel Uh, like the video comment and share it with the other people as well take care of yourself see you again khuda hafiz